Okay. <laughs> so sorry. So sorry. Uh, yeah, so I was trying to be inclusive <laughs> and not have it be age restricted, but apparently if I remove, uh, if I check this one box that says it's okay for kids, because I felt like it probably would be, um, it disables chat. Uh, so that's kind of silly. <laughs> um, not great, but it's fine. We're back. And uh, stuff so since we are late um, had I known that I wouldn't have done that you know because I was just like dude what the I guess I can cuss now <laughs> I was like don't cuss don't cuss so that like you know you don't have to age restrict it and I was like okay cool and then yeah no okay I'm just gonna get my iPad talking to... Hi, Red! Yeah, my hair's red. I'm still getting used to it. Give me my code! Give me my code! So I can show my iPad. Okay. Am I good? Yes? <laughs> Okay, let's fix and say how many um how many pickups can I have today? I'm trying to live stream. How many likes does it take? We don't know. Okay. How about while I'm sending a fresh JK LOL for reals now <laughs> update on Instagram, I'll play um some of the time lapses from some of the paintings I've been working through because one of my projects has been to uh, paint all of Hannah's uh, like permanent residence permanent residence <laughs> um, anyways so yeah of course I painted Fer Fergie way back in the day when he was just a few weeks old maybe six six weeks old um, so want to do an updated one of him, but before I went and did that, you know, started with, uh, Miss Coco. Let's go ahead and play that. Music is overpowering. Whoops. Let's, let's fix that. Hmm. I don't know. How is this? Is this better? Is that better or worse? What's up, Tipton? Just a smidge lower music. Whoops. How's that? <laughs> Is that good? Better? Better? Worse? I feel like we're in an eye exam together. Okay, sweet. Okay, have not touched the live stream equipment in a little bit. It's been a minute, right? So I canceled last month um, for a lot of reasons. I don't want to bring the live stream down, so I don't want to get into it. Um, but just life has been very lifey. Um, so uh, yeah. Anyways, just wasn't feeling it that day for a lot of life reasons, but um, I'd say we're better today, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to go. So, um, anyway. Okay. All right. Let's send out a har, har, har. Whoops. gonna say live now but um I don't know I feel like I had a I had a lady that was meowing at me <laughs> at 
at work. Um, I'll explain in a minute. I can't, I can't walk and chew gum at the same time. So just give me a second. I feel like I've said that a lot of times today. Oh. I still got to choose which uh, photo that I have of Shushu that I want to paint from because I've got a couple. Um, sometimes it's just hard to shoe shoes. <laughs> choo choos, your shoe shoes. Um, so. Okay, for real. Here's the link. There we go. G bus. Okay. What's worse than life? <laughs> Nothing. <sighs> for real, man. <sighs> okay. All right. So I've got the. F I've, yeah, I don't know. We need to just pick what we're gonna do because I've got this really. So all the photo, or all of the um, paintings that I've done of the rest of the fur fam, you can see their whole body. And so I kind of want, in my head, like I kind of want like all of them to show the cat's whole body to be in it. So um, that's kind of why I picked some of the photos that I've picked and not gone with some of the other ones. Um, so, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Let's see. So we've got... There's Miss Coco. We've got Eloise. Um, and then... This one was a struggle bus. Uh, Haroon was a struggle bus to the max. I've got one where he's <laughs> a body of work. So I've got this picture of Shushu where he's like, he's upside down. You can see his whole body. He's got his Lambo um, curls going. Um, but then I've also got the one where he's on the book and he's, you know, he's, I know you guys can't really see the picture that well, but maybe you just get a nice general idea. And then I've got one of them on his cat tree. I don't know, what does this need? <laughs> this is this is not helpful for you guys. Okay. Um. Anyway. How are you guys doing? How are y'all? Is it hot where where y'all are at? Is it hot everywhere? <laughs> Look, I have no hoodie on. You can see my arms. I have arms. Look at this. See what I mean? Like, I just like zoomed in and just started working on the face. And of course, it didn't match with the rest of the body. Because um, that's what happens sometimes when you zoom in and just focus on an area. vote Australia. Australia is hot. Is it not hot in Arizona right now? I feel like we're basically neighbors. It should be pretty warm there. I think California is getting the heat wave though. So. Do we paint upside down shoo shoo? What do we do to Shushu? Okay. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm kind of narrowing it down, so <laughs> thank you for your patience. Yeah. Okay, well, let's try and paint him upside down. I got this. Oh! Haha! <laughs> okay, I see. I see what you meant. Toad, every time, like, you and I, like, have some dialogue back and forth, I feel like, <laughs> like, you say something, if I don't think it's funny, like, from the first moment I read it, I'm like, I'm missing a joke somewhere. <laughs> I'm missing the humor. 
but he'll 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 see that that's what's happening and he'll catch me up <laughs> okay so to uh, previously on okay so behind the scenes I've been working on painting all of uh, Hannah's uh, fur fam and so we've got Haroon, Eloise, Coco, right? We've got Fergie, I think he's technically last year, right? So but I'm gonna be repainting him because he grown. Um, he's just a kitten in this one, right? So he grown. But yeah, so a lot of people have been asking me um, if I was gonna paint Shushu, and um, I think it's a good time to go ahead and paint Shushu, and then we will circle back to, to Fergie. Um, so yeah, let me grab my paper, because we're painting that long boy upside down. I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate myself some of this uh, watercolor paper. I'm trying to be super tidy. I don't know if I'm gonna succeed or not, but anyways, I'm trying to be super tidy. We've got our work in progresses here. Okay. I know where this is. Found my pencil. Drowning in water in South Carolina. Multiple grow on you. <laughs> uh, yeah, um... We actually had a bit of flooding. Uh, not in my neighborhood exactly, but um, but nearby. In Dallas, <laughs> they were not prepared. <laughs> so, um, oh, I have a new uh, chill drawing vibe situation that I'm going to be testing out on Twitch. Uh, this week um, where I'm just gonna just draw and uh, but I'm not gonna be able to like talk to you guys with a mic or anything because it's on the couch um, that's across from me that also means that I don't have the overhead uh, hand camera so you guys can see like this but uh, hopefully this is fine and you don't mind okay <laughs> so um, anyways all right I'm going to move this a little bit out of my way. I think I just need to get a clip on mic for real. You know? That's what we need to do. Alright. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is... Um, hold up. Let me can I get the brightness turned up here for myself. Alright. Great. All right, let's create a new layer. So if you aren't aware, this is just a watercolor paper layer. All right. Um, whoops, don't do that. So everything, even though I'm painting digitally, it's all from scratch, okay? It's all made out of cheeseburger sweats, stress, and um, actual mark making. It's not, um, there's no tracing. Um, I do have, you know, my reference over here, but other than that, uh, yeah. So, okay. <laughs> I'm not getting on mid-journey <laughs> and typing in a prompt. Um, so, which I have opinions, which anyways, we won't get into that. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to bring back some of the upfront scribbling that I used to do. Okay, so. Alright, I got like a foot over here. Got another little. I might need to move them over in a minute, but there's a foot. Kind of a little dangle do. Alright. Kind of got like a little, little long body here. And here, so I've got like a little paw. Future paw, pee paw. Okay. Another paw coming out over here. Kind of got like that shoulder right there. And then here's Shu 
your shoes. A little round nugget. Okay, he's got like some little ears. Okay. Let's go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. Actually, a little bit smaller because I <laughs> left out his tail. That's kind of important. Um, you can't really see a whole lot of it. He's kind of, he's got that lion mane tail going on because this is around when he had a had a little haircut. So he's got like a little, little broomstick of a tail. All right. All right. I'm gonna duplicate this layer. Actually, no, we're not gonna do that. We're going to. Drop the opacity down just a little bit. I'm going to create a new layer and I'm just going to start to build on top of this. Okay. What's up, Jenny? Step one, paint a cat. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so I've got like some shadow dews over here. Okay. Foot, kind of going like that. Some little shadows on the top. Okay. Mm. Do -do 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 -do. Mm. Some strong sound effects. Okay, here's this. There's like a little shadow kind of like around this arm. Okay, because it is actually raised up. Where that paw is. A little pea paw. Just an old man right there. Okay. Oh crap. Yeah, why is that green? Okay, it's fine. Whatever. Alright. Oh, it must be my watercolor paper layer that's kind of giving some different coloration to it. It's fine. Alright. Got a little mouth. Got a little nose. Boop, boop, boop. It's going to kind of lightly just light mentions of them okay not really worried about um you know getting into his nostrils or anything no details right now we're just sort of doing some light light exploration there's like an eye which means that this hand this hand <laughs> This paw is too high. If I am placing that eye there, but we'll just roll with it for now. That does mean that something's a little off in that area. Okay. He's kind of got like some little shadow dews here in the fur, in the fur line. Okay, we got like the ears. Okay. Boop, boop, got another ear. This, yeah, that cat math, that first round of cat math is still kind of checking out. Show your work. Okay. Did I do any people? Okay, we did do some people work. This is kind of what's my eraser right now? Okay, dark, dark edge here. That's fine. I'm just kind of erase some of this first paw because it should be lower. Okay, so if that eye is going to be there, then that paw really needs to be more like here. Okay. All right, yeah, something like that. I mean, you can kind of see a, there's a little bit of a cat start. It could be a cat, could not. We don't know. All right, we don't know. We really don't at this point. I'll tell you, part of the reason why uh, I didn't paint live um, last month was because I've just kind of lost my confidence, honestly. Um, 
so um, so yeah I just found myself struggling a lot more lately and um, so I was like getting online and bombing a drawing doesn't so doesn't sound fun uh, to me so um, that was also part of it um, if anyone's worried that Dioji's not doing well he's he's doing fine um, he does require a lot of anxiety <laughs> lately um, which I assume is just my own doing I'm just very anxious ever since he was diagnosed with heart disease I just am on high alert and uh, like everything is a potential something to me just kind of funny where it's just like I'm watching the way he walks and everything I'm like I got my eye on you buddy don't you <laughs> no more surprises little dude his uh where they had shaved him for the echocardiogram that's finally starting to grow in and that's that's kind of how I know that it's time for him to probably go in for a checkup, a general checkup, because it takes about six months for it to start to go away and stuff. It doesn't look like a chicken cutlet anymore. I can't blow raspberries on it. Um, so, all right, I've got some more paw. Future kitty beans, all right, just with some little random kitty bean scribbles we got going there. Okay. I'm gonna add a little bit of movement to the tail because in the photo it's just kind of going like stick straight um, and that'll just it looks fine in a photo I think it'll look kind of awkward um, in a in a painting um, especially since we can do this <laughs> we can we can judge things a little bit um, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of a you know a little movement there okay so I'm just kind of like going in and like finessing. Still not too concerned about uh, being right necessarily, but you know, right adjacent. Okay. <laughs> hey, what's up, Dapper Dan? I don't know how long it's been since you popped in to say hi. Stressful when fur babies have medical conditions. Yes. I feel like my new, um, my new hobby is just to worry about him. <laughs> That's all it is. Like, it's like I just wake up and I'm like, what do I want to do today? I think I want to worry about D.O.G. some more. Um, but ever since he was diagnosed with uh, heart disease, I just, I'm sure that Jay would be like, you've always spoiled him, which is probably true, but like, it's even more so now. Where it's just like, whatever you want to do, I'm going to entertain it, you know? He wants to go hang out in the garage and sweat it out. Okay, fine. We'll go do that. You want to stay out there for half an hour? Okay, fine. I do eventually draw the line, though, where I'm just like, alright, dude. Like, I'm smelling like cheeseburgers. We gotta go in, you know? But I will entertain it for a while, okay? Um, the other day... Uh, for some random DOG reason, he was just wanting to just flop over and uh, have a little pet sesh in the foyer of the house, and um, and I was like, "All right, this is weird, and I don't know why you want to do this, but okay." So I'm entertaining it, and I'm like, "I'm gonna lay on the floor with you, right?" So I'm laying on the floor with him. He's laying on the floor. It's great. We're having a grand time, okay? Um, and uh, all of a sudden, he kind of like, you know, kind of sits up a little bit. And then he kind of like goes into full sit mode and is looking at like the corner near the door. And I'm like, ah, oh, what you, what you see over there? 
And it was a wolf spider. It was about the size of a half dollar. And I was like, oh, hell no. You're, you're weird. Get away. <laughs> like, I just went, like, into just mama bear mode. And I was like, whoop. And then I immediately grabbed a flip-flop and was like, smack. <laughs> like, me and Jay, we kind of, um, we are good cop, bad cop with the spiders. He's good cop. I'm bad cop. Um, so I will, if he, if he sees the spiders, he will, uh, he'll move them <laughs> to a safe location. He'll move them outside. But if I see them, even the first time, you don't get, there's no, you know, there's no warning with me. I see you, you die. You know, it's just, that's just the way it is. Um, and, uh, so yeah, it, when we first saw, I think it was the same wolf spider, okay? And we see him, and, uh, and, I, and he was like, oh, let's, you know, the first time we saw him, he's like, I'll oh, just, just let me catch him, and I'll, you know, I'm gonna toss him outside, and I'm like, fine. But if I see him again, he dies. So when I saw him again, I was like, you knew the rules. You knew the rules, buddy. So, you know. He got him. Uh, DOG did kill a cricket. <laughs> and I guess in the, in the mid, you know, in the moments of just playing with it, I assume, in the middle of the night, doing whatever DOG does in the middle of the night, um, <laughs> took its le one of its legs off. And I found it when I was moving a cushion the other day and I was like, whoops, look at that. DOG does do stuff. I just assumed he just followed it around, sat and watched it. Because that's all I ever see him do, is just kind of watch. Anyway. Alright, I'm kind of getting a little bit more detail-y with my scribbles here. Uh, and you probably saw that I did move that paw um, just because I kind of already liked a lot of the exploration that I had going and I just needed to move it down. I was going to say I just needed to move it down a little bit, but it was kind of a lot of it because there's that big giant gap there. But I'm um, just trying to get some of this figured out before we go into full-on paint mode. Maybe move that eye a little bit. Okay, this one too, a little bit. Kind of weird to think that I used to draw like this all the time. Like I did all those Game of Thrones, all that Game of Thrones fan art. Which, by the way, strong opinion here. George R. R. Martin. I'm not giving any more, <laughs> any more attention to his, any of his IPs. He can, he can go kick rocks. I'm just really salty today. <laughs> I don't know why. It's high sodium. I'm high sodium today. I'm sorry. You think I'd be like less high sodium? I did. I had fall pie table day. It was a great day. I love the fall pie lineup at Emporium, and uh, yeah, it was good. Have one of each pie. <gasps> What's up, Brizzy? It's been a minute. Glad I caught you today. Hey, yeah, it has been. How's the uh, dapper? If you're still in chat, how's the new? How's the new house? I have a lot of empathy for anyone <laughs> who's moved into a house. Okay. <laughs> I am always tracking everyone's new house stories, alright? Twinnies love pulling individual legs off roaches. I bet they do. I need the twinnies to freaking kill some of these spiders. You give them a one-way ticket, he gives them a return ticket. <laughs> he does. That's funny. I like that. I, I've seen a... Just a wide variety of spiders. The ones with that I saw when we first moved in here that I wasn't sure, and I'm still not sure, 
I feel like the um, the survey that I ran on Instagram, like, you know, basically like what kind of spider is this? Is it a brown recluse? It came back almost like 50-50. So, I don't know. But I thankfully haven't seen any more of those. It's just mostly been wolf spiders and the spiders that I call murder spiders because they are tiny, but um, they make these like ratty, ratty ass webs and but they're like just hugged to walls and corners and stuff so they stay out of my way and they kill other spiders and I have seen them take down spiders that are like five times their size so I don't mess with them they don't mess with me they get to stay you know until there was that one that started to have babies and like it, it kind of became a it was like all right lady <laughs> we said you could stay not you and all your kids not you and your 500 kids okay or however many babies a spider has at one time. Alright, kind of got a good... I think this pair of uh, shoes is looking pretty good. Got some little sprouty dudes in the ear over here, which the ear still feels like it should be there. Alright. Okay. I don't know if I'm gonna kind of maybe use like some expressive splats to kind of hint at his hair when it's a little bit longer and not um not so you know pulled up but um my latest troublemaker my latest my troublemaker's latest trick is tearing into the bedroom and climbing the curtains Halloween special, Terror of the New House. <laughs> yep. Wasn't there like a bunch of like horror movies there for a while? It was like the house was sort of the villain, right? I don't, like, wasn't like that what Amityville was, sort of? I don't know. I'm not usually a big movie person, and Jay is, and I feel like I should. That should be my compromise is like, we will sit down and watch movies, but they're going to be just all awful horror movies for Halloween or something. Okay. What pencil am I using? This is pretty slick. Oh, okay, peppermint. Yeah, I do remember liking this sketchy pencil. Okay, we've got like the sprouty dudes that should be here, and then we've got a really long one that's like a little out of control. curliness kind of happening a little bit. Alright. Alright, this isn't... This is shaping up alright, I think, for a little sketchy, scribbly pass. daughter started moving into her apartment yesterday. Delay in getting power and gas approved, so nothing until Monday. She's staying with her best friend with her two kitties. Oh, okay. Well, new apartment though, that's exciting. I, um, I still like to go to the, the re this restaurant called Ebisu. Um, it's a Japanese, uh, restaurant um and the family actually when they when they first uh opened up the business um they actually lived next door to me and jay so that was kind of cool but um anyways but i still like to go there even after we've moved we'll, we'll make special trips a lot of special trips are they special if you make them a lot i don't know but anyways i guess i just think the place is special i love it everyone there knows me it's my cheers just instead of with drinks it's sushi um, and gin and tonics. <laughs> I kind of got a bit of a reputation there <laughs> for a little bit and I had to rein it in. Um, but whenever I go there though, I guess like hearing the train and stuff come by because I'm usually there like right around rush hour so the train's making a lot of trips through there and so I'm hearing the train and I'm hearing the uh, the train arms like bing bing ding 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 and I'm like 
Yeah, I mean, I guess there are quite a few things that I don't, I don't miss about living here. So, you know. And that's one of them. I think Shushu's body needs to be a little bit longer, so we're gonna have a little bit of a drink drink situation here. Let me just kind of pull this in a little bit. And then, still got both layers selected. I think it needs to happen somewhere in this little middle bit here. Just gonna go a little tappy tap tap tap. I don't think it needs to be too much longer, but you know, just about like that, I think. I think that'll do us. Watch later. I've got a short short back in, you know. Because that's, that's how I am. <laughs> Alright. Um, I'm going to snap a photo of this really quick. This is what it looks like, guys. Alright. By the way, have you guys... I'm all over the place today, huh? Have you guys uh, seen... Or seen... Have you guys heard the It's Corn song from that kid at the state fair where he's like, It's corn! <sighs> I've been... I spent... Before I hopped on here, I was doing a lot of filming for a reel for that. Because real reasons. Um, anyway, now that the song's in my head, let's go! I can tell you all about it! Also, uh, mm, hold on, I'm trying to think of a witty caption. <laughs> Is it shoes? Look at this pair of shoes. Look. Mm, shoe puns. Look. Shoes. Let's go get some shoes. I wonder if that song is on Instagram. Shoes. Let's, let's check. I don't think it is probably shoes. Oh my god, it is. Caroline? Is it Caroline or Car is it Caroline or Carolyn? Carolyn, come into the light, Carolyn. But are lobsters allowed? Lobsters are definitely allowed. You know, my mom had me, she had me tricked as a little kid. She had me thinking that I love red lobster. She had me thinking that I liked really long hair and wanted to have long hair like Crystal Gale. Did I know who Crystal Gale was? I was six. No, I didn't know who Crystal Gale was, okay? And um, as some of you may know, or whatever, some of you some of you may know, I my birthday and my mom's birthday are back to back, so I feel like it was by design. She had to convince me that I liked Red Lobster because she wanted to go to Red Lobster, right? By the way, not a drink drink. It's like a, it's just some water with this noon tab in it that's got a little bit of caffeine in it. Because I need to wake the hell up. Caroline is in a straight line. I like how you did that. I bet you have that like ready to go though because you probably have had to do it a lot, you know, for people. All right. Okay, let's go. Um, I'm thinking we might be ready for paint. Um, so what I'm going to do, first let's merge these two layers down so that they can all be on one happy layer. 
<clears throat> first thing I'm going to do, drop this opacity down. Um, wait, normal. But I think I can have this be the reference, and then it kind of treats it to where it won't get all painted over and stuff. So actually, let's go ahead and do that. Back up. All right. All right. Fresh new layer. I always start my watercolor layers underneath the watercolor paper layer and we're going to start it with my favorite brush, Edge Bleeder, and I'm I'm trying to be better about like picking color palettes. Um and I know that Shushu ends up with having like uh, the tear kind of rust kind of color underneath the eyes, which is like a orangish, yellowish, like golden kind of color. So I'm thinking that like a teal, um, teal and purple would go, like, would be a good balance off of that. So let's see what this looks like. Sorry, I heard a noise and I'm like, ah, it's a ghost. Oh no, it's Dioji! You turd! You guys, okay. Okay, well maybe he's not going to do it. Well, I had a chair parked over here with a blanket in it, because I was like, he was in here while I was setting up, and I was like, oh, get in the chair. Hang out, it'll be nice. And he was like, no, I'm not going to. And, uh, but then he started to investigate it just now. Like, you turd, but now he, he didn't. He didn't fully commit to it, so it's fine. All right, let's go. I'm gonna focus on his face. And since we've got his face kind of locked in, I don't think I'm gonna run to the same issue that I did with Haroon, where once I kind of like zoomed in and worked on his face, it ended up being way bigger than, the re than his body. It was, so we had a lot of fixing that we needed to fix. <laughs> So, all right, so I'm gonna zoom in on this face because that's where all the excitement's gonna be. How big is this brush? All right, big enough. That's what she said, okay. All right, it wasn't big enough. All right, let's go. Alright, so like right now, I'm just going to use this brush to just sort of map out where my shadows are. Okay. I'll bring in some of the purple here in a minute. But yeah, we're just doing a lot of like, this is kind of like the underpainting. soften this and kind of push it around kind of like sculpting it's like you're sculpting with paint with watercolor per pill <laughs> hey thanks briz appreciate you cheddar bisques we love cheddar bisques I make it look easy oh my god you guys should see me when I'm not painting uh well actually i do some i it is not unusual for me to bomb a painting on the live stream <laughs> but yeah um, i don't know man i've just been having some struggles lately and stuff <clears throat> Uh, Netflix has a new, like, cat documentary out right now. I don't know if any of you guys have watched it. Um, I watched it after Jay asked me to watch it, I think, a second or third time. I was like, okay, I feel like it must be really good if he's still talking to me about it. Um, and so I was like, alright, let's, I'll watch it, you know. I don't know why I'm so weird about when people ask me to watch stuff, I'm just... A horrible person <laughs> sometimes um, but I finally sat down and watched it with him and it was, it was really good it was really interesting I appreciated it a lot 
I don't remember the name of it, so I'm not really helpful. But I didn't, my resistance to watching this was that I thought it was just about people who do cat training and cat breeding and all that kind of stuff. And I was like, I'm not interested in watching that. Is he really yelling at me right now? We are on the struggle timeline. I mean, so long as I'm not alone. You know? This is a nice color palette so far, huh? You know what? I haven't watched any RuPaul. Um, I haven't watched any RuPaul. I've really kind of like cut a lot of my streaming services. Um, the only way that I keep up with, with RuPaul's Drag Race right now is through uh, Bussy Queen for the most part. Um, so I just see like the runway looks and stuff like that. Um, I did fall down a uh, a RuPaul's Drag Race like drama hole um, where it was like whatever happened to Santino Rice and uh, Lucien Piani and why don't you see these people anymore and I was like why don't I see these people anymore um, so and man it's kind of you know kind of weird when you see people, you see a different side of people, you see a real side of people. People just let it all hang out on Twitter. Um, so, yep, and there was some big old, big drama, big drama between like RuPaul and Lucy Piani and Toad, I see you sent me a photo. I'll have to... I'll have to go look at it in a min. By the way, on the Twitch gaming front, um, Naughty Dog released uh, what they're calling a remake of The Last of Us. Um, because they didn't just give it a graphics overhaul, so they don't consider it to be simply a remaster of the game. Um, I don't know that I want to quit, you know, debate if it's a remaster or a remake. So much as I think the price tag is a little much, but um, I'll probably still buy it because <laughs> it looks it looks really good. But I was just trying to debate on whether or not I was going to play any of it on the live stream or not. Um, I don't know. I'm not the most, like, you know, I don't have the most finesse in those games, and so part of me is like, gamers are going to hop in and make fun of me. And I was like, I don't know, should I just, should I let these schmucks ruin my good time? I don't know. Deal with it. <clears throat> but it's a good reason, it's a good excuse to go back and revisit the the franchise anyways. Put some polar bear he is yowling at me. He's just staring at the... I put crunchies. I put crunchies down for you, buddy. Yeah, I did. Also, it's nowhere near time. I gotta turn this clock on so I can see what time it is. Or just tap on my phone. Okay. Well, it is 5.01. Never mind. But I did put crunchies down for you. Go check the crunchy bowl, buddy. There's crunchies in there. Just an excited cat watching. 
I put some polar bear documentary on TV for 20s to watch. It only lasted 30 seconds before they were attacking the screen. You should let them know that, like, the polar bears are, you know, they actually need their help. That's, that's what they need. The polar bears need their help. They are friendlies. <laughs> they friendlies. Okay, let's grab this purple again. Let's kind of pull it into the more pink kind of color. Get on his mouth. Okay. What's up, dude? I put crunchies down for you, man. I tried to plan ahead for this. To prevent this. <sighs> you know how she watch. Yeah. I know how she watch. I guess the the cat canoes from Catball are still still a hit. I would- I wanted to get one for Dioji, but like, man, he just is weird about everything. I got him a new cat yow banana today. Got it in the mail. He kind of napped with it for a while. He fell asleep after you like chewed on it and stuff. to the, bo the body. I don't know if I ever told that story about the, my uncle's funeral. Did I ever tell the story about my uncle's funeral? Let me know in chat. My uncle, the Elvis impersonator's funeral? Let me know. this color palette because uh, as I continue to work I might push those off of the history for um, as I continue working so I just want to kind of go ahead and use my color palette that I've started to establish to kind of get it in the rest of the body um, so that it's all nice and you know uniform okay that he needs as a senior kitty I'm, I'm, I'm trying to help him out right as a senior cat I'm trying to help him out and get him some beds that will like reflect his body heat back for him especially since like I know that that's why he wants to go hang out in the garage and sweat it out you know because he you know he wants to nap in the war in the warmth um and stuff but uh Whoa, let me just do some little boops of some kitty beans here. These are future kitty beans. Boop, boop, boop. Kind of like a little one there. Anyway, so I bought him, first of all, I tried to buy him a bed that like plugged in and it was activated by the weight of the cat. And um, he refused to use it. 
okay. I ended up giving it to my mom. Gave my mom a brand new cat bed. Because he just wouldn't use it. So then I thought, maybe I've just, I've overcomplicated this. So let me just go with a more simpler one. That didn't, it doesn't plug in. And, um. But it has like, I don't know, some sort of thermally stuff inside. So, um. You know, it still reflects his body heat back to him. And hey, thanks, Carol. Thanks, Caroline. Thanks for the coffee donation. Thank you so much. Um. Oh, now I'm, I got so happy. I forgot. <laughs> forgot what I was talking about blankets. Okay. Uh, the. Okay, so. But it makes a crinkly sound, okay? He was terrified of that bed, okay? Scared, hid under the ottoman, scared of that thing, okay? I eventually just sat it out in the garage because he wanted to go out there all the time. And eventually he laid on it. Um, and so he did use it eventually. And so now I brought it in and I put it inside of this box from an uh, order from Amazon or something that had come in. Anyways, and I actually uh, couldn't find him earlier today when I got home. I was like, where is he? I was looking in all of his usual spots and he was actually in the bed. So I was like, finally, he's starting to use it. But he's just so like, it's just very hit and miss. And I, so I, I want the, in short, <laughs> In short, as this story has gotten too long already, I wanted to get him the canoe bed, but I am worried that he will not use it. Okay, I'm worried. <gasps> Trixie! Joe! What's up, Joe? You don't recall an uncle funeral story. To sum up, he is a cat, yes. Welcome back, Briz. Okay. My uncle, on my mom's side, has since passed. God bless. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and he, while he was alive, was an Elvis impersonator. Okay. Um, among many things, because as you can imagine, impersonating Elvis doesn't pay the bills, okay? <laughs> um, but anyways, he was, an, uh, he was a known Elvis impersonator. Um, he had, and he had married a seamstress uh, early on in his younger years, and so she had made all of his jumpsuits, so he would do the whole scarf bit and all that kind of stuff, okay? Got photos of the man dressed as dressed up as Elvis. Um, and uh, anyways, so and I don't I don't know if my family's very religious. I know that they are some flavor. I don't know what kind of flavor, but the funerals get very religious. Okay, so. It gets ramped up all of a sudden because I wouldn't, my family doesn't go to church regularly. They never have. Um, but like the funerals tend to be pretty religious all of a sudden. So it's kind of like you get thrown into the deep end unexpectedly. Um, and so there I am sitting in the front with my mom. It's her brother, right, that has passed. And um, the. The, the, the guy who was officiating the funeral, he was so animated, he was jumping around, um, he was jumping from the podium, and then jumping towards the casket, it was, it was very animated, I had not seen anything like it, ever, okay, and I was like, what is going on here, right, um, and he was like, we all know he loved Elvis Presley, amen. And everyone's like, amen. And it was like, that's an odd thing to amen. Okay. 
But anyways, in his jumping and like very animated gestures and stuff, he was like, this is just a body. Like he spoke so strangely. There was a lot of strange things about it. Anyways, I'm several years removed from from that funeral and so it's now kind of become like this like thing between me and Jay where if someone says the word body like we're one of us will probably go this is just a body you know we'll kind of do that anyways that's a short random story about my uncle's funeral <laughs> He was not buried in an Elvis jumpsuit. That would have been great, I think, but... Anyway. Hey, what's up, Sasha? Uh, he was the Elvis that was like, you know, in between, you know? He was in between Elvis. He was fluffy Elvis, okay? Um, well, I think El Elvis was a little fluffy, right, when he asked, like, I've seen photos of, of him with Nixon when he, when he was like, I want, what is he, I don't know, there's some crazy story about him, like, getting, like, a badge or something from Nixon, I don't remember. Anyways, my uncle was fluffy Elvis, alright, um, but, uh, the church was definitely some flavor of Southern, Southern Baptist, because that's... That's a lot of what's in the South. But it was just really weird. I was like, I have never seen someone do this and be so animated, um, jumping around and all sorts of stuff. I was like, crazy, man. And my mom, after the funeral, like, she would be... She, She's like, you're so good at funerals. And what she means by that is you didn't cry, right? And I'm thinking, I was looking at it. I was wondering what was happening. <laughs> is what I was doing, ma'am. Anyways. I don't know. time lapse while I have a little sippy sip. What's up, First Kateers? That's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. You could be a professional funeral attendee if you stay in school. <laughs> oh my god. Could do. Could do. Luna and Sora send their regards. Been a minute, but we're still alive. Life got crazy. Cute shoe. <laughs> Man. Yeah, I, I remember hearing a little bit that was going on with you last time we talked. Hey, you know, another Drag Race fan, though. Um, I was just talking about how I don't... I don't really watch Drag Race anymore because I'm too cheap to, to pay for any of the streaming services. So I just watch it... I watch it secondhand through Bussy Queen and people who are like responding and doing like watch watch response videos or whatever. That's how I watch all of the latest All Stars and stuff. Elvis collected police badges, guns. Reagan gave him a narc badge for his collection. Wow, Jesus. Man, that's crazy. I had no idea. <laughs> Like, I watched, like, a Drunk History episode about Elvis getting some sort of badge from, I thought, Nixon, but I could be wrong. But, 
Um, I used to love watching Drunk History. Great show. Great show. That is a little too, a little too dark, so let's blur that quite a bit. Okay. Alright, I think it's time to kind of get up in these eyeballs. Here in a minute, I will show you guys, well, before the live stream ends, I'll kind of show you guys my couch setup that I want to test out for Twitch, just for like super low key, just kind of like hang out with me while I draw. Um, I won't be as, um, I won't be as, I won't be chatting because I won't have a mic or anything, um, but I will be able to like, you know, text. <laughs> in the chat with you guys occasionally but um anyways just something i'm gonna test out and um i told myself it was an acceptable thing to do to buy a whole new um cat uh neon light <laughs> for it because <laughs> of course i did i was like well, i'm gonna need something Actually, you know what? We need a nose. Oh, P.S. guys. Uh, random. That's well. That's all I'm doing right now. Talking. Um, I watched uh, Bailey Sarian on YouTube has been doing these dark histories, and she did one on Lisa Frank. There was some drama, man, with Lisa Frank. Um, it was pretty crazy to think that like, I don't know, wasn't all happy <laughs> and rainbows and happiness there. Like, wow, okay. <clears throat> if you're interested, I would recommend going to watch um, her video, but pretty crazy. Just a random recommendation there. Bridge, this little shadow bridge across the nose a little bit. Alright, now let's make a new layer because eyeballs stress me out. <clears throat> Still gonna stay with my blobby brush. Yes, Brizzy. I refuse to pay to watch it, but my friend gives me the hookup through Plex. The All Winners was refreshing, more positivity. Yeah! So I typed Nixon and autocorrect changed to Reagan. Okay. <laughs> That's a random autocorrect. Okay, where are we going? About here. Okay. That cat mask from that eyeball still checks out. That's good. <laughs> That's a good sign. Okay. Alright, I'm just kind of venture out a little bit from that from like the purples and all that kind of stuff and then get some darker detailing in. Okay. All right, 
It is kind of one eyeball ish. Future eyeball. Okay. You know what? sort of feels like that's right. It's in the ballpark. Right? You guys are like, I don't know, whatever you say. Maybe this needs to be a little bit bigger. So, minor drink drink here. It's on uniform. Great. I'd love to see it. Alright. <clears throat> Nostrils. No, I don't want to use that for the nostrils. Let's go back to our color palette. Alright. The kind of nostrils kind of got lost, but still just need a general nose shape. Chartreuse, like a very aggressive green color, just to kind of lay down as a base. Pupils are just square in the middle, about like that in this photo. 
There we go. Maybe this one actually needs to come from that way. Just gonna push that in a little bit. We haven't had the uh, Saturday Squad song play yet, eh? them so they're not like so aggressive. that reference stuff is working for me. I'm not doing it right, but I'll get that off there. There's just like a muddiness that it was adding to it. Like a milky muddiness. I got rid of that. around this little chin. Like a nice soft but vibrant color palette kind of got going here. I don't know that it's the overall color scheme that I was planning in my head but but we here now. Let's kind of soften this up a little bit around this chin area. Okay. Might switch over to the dry brush just to kind of put some um, you know, you know. Why is that so dark like that? Why does it get so dark? Just to get some like brush strokes, some texture in this blobbiness. I need to lighten that up. <gasps> lighten up, man. Okay. Just kind of get like the little cheek situation kind of coming forward from the fur. He's got kind of a pretty flat face, so there's not as it's not as pronounced as you might see with a lot of other cats in that. What was it? <laughs> Whisker meat? <laughs> Alright. Yeah, let's switch over to... Here's my dry brush. Okay. 
Alright, that's probably a decent size. Alright, cool. Yeah, let's just kind of go through... Um, I don't know if it, it's kind of hard to tell in some of these lighter areas, but... texture in. Be pretty floofy. He's a pretty floofy fellow. So, you know. Okay. Let's do that on that other layer. to tell up there. Alright. Okay. Oh, you can really see it there. What's going on there in the photo? This brush will be something we'll use a lot later too to get um get them Lambo lambs curly doos you know all right let's jump up here what have I got where's this at okay not a whole lot but you know enough out and save. Alright. Let's see, what time is it? Okay. Not bad, not, not making bad time. Okay, let's hop back over to this wondering to myself, is it time to switch brushes and start with like some real crispy brushes yet? But nah, I think we'll stick with watercolor for now just to kind of continue to shape out these eyes and um, get them sorted. Actually, is a little bit more oblongy shaped. I'm kind of thinking. Hmm? May actually need to go back to the other blender. Get this shape adjusted. Thank you. 
Riley seems to have found something interesting on the wheels of my computer chair. She's laying there, licking it intently and chewing on whatever she licked off. Uh-oh. Might require some investigation. Iguana is for everyone. <laughs> Gotta make a visit to this layer real quick. Just to make a note to myself. a little bit. I am gonna, I think, also go in with like a very striking blue.
to be like a bed or something. Hey, what's up, Robin? <laughs> Time for Pinky Bonnet. I don't know if I'm hearing the music like way ahead of you guys. I feel like you guys are just now talking about Pinky Iguana, but like I heard it like 10 minutes ago. Stephanie. Oh yeah. Um, we actually got rid of uh, Netflix like right when that released. Um, Jay's watched it, but I haven't because I'm a weird. My TV habits are are weird, but I am familiar with um, the comic book series and the. Uh, You aren't that far behind. Okay. Okay. Nostril. <laughs> I mean, technically, you do. Nostrils are important. Right. I think I'm gonna jump 
effect for the eyeballs. Create a new layer. Stress. Get these pupils darkened up a bit. So much British baking left. Netflix isn't even worth it. <laughs> that is true. There's some things that I'm not thinking of that I'll... But yeah, I just... I don't know, man. Between me and Jay, we just found ourselves not watching it a whole lot. But... Okay, so... My... color down. My dumbass is still on the blur blender brush. Lay some color down, trying to get these the eye area, you know, where I feel like it needs to be before I switch to a crisper brush. Track lines, whisker, whisker tracks, you know, whatever. I really need to learn, I keep saying that, I need to learn the legit names of these things, and I just, I never do, because I'm, I'm me, and that's what I do, that's what I don't do. This is Shushu. See you later, Sasha. Pet the kitties for me, please. This is Shushu, and I had a lot of people request that I paint Shushu. Uh, but also, I was working through painting um, all of Hannah's permanent residence so, um, 
And I think Shushu will be sort of part of her permanent residence. I think she's kind of co-parenting. Um, but anyways. So that is why I'm painting Shushu. I've painted uh, Eloise, Coco, Haroon, um, and I am going to go back and update uh, Fergie. celebrate you know because when I painted him I think that's when Hannah thought that he was only gonna uh, he was not gonna be around for very long um, certainly wasn't gonna see his first birthday so um, so yeah doing a little bit of scribbly painting now to kind of help shape some stuff. He's got a very like wide-eyed owly face right now in this photo. I was like, I heard a weird noise, and then it turns out the is in here. Um, let me, I'm gonna run a time lapse. I'm just gonna show him that he does have food. Uh, for some reason, he's acting like he doesn't know. But he's got crunches in his bowl because he didn't see them go into the bowl. So, uh, cats be catting. Um, I'm gonna play a time lapse of what I've got going so far. I will be right back.
All right, I'm back. Okay. All right. Let's get back to this. Okay. I'm trying to get used to this uh, sketchboard thingy for my iPad. It's still a little weird. I find myself wanting to kind of like pull it off of the table. Just, I don't know, I'm a sloucher. I like to, I don't know. I don't know. I am noticing though that I do think I want some more orange tones throughout. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. And I think Shushu's body is going to need to get even longer, so let me just blur this. Let me just do some little bit of blending work here and then I'm going to go ahead and do that. Just got a longer body than I was expecting. So just going to go ahead and do that one. Maybe one more time? I don't honestly know. But let's go ahead and, while we're thinking about it, better to do it now. Let's see, if I was mm, don't do that. Let's see, if I was shoe shoes, Baudi, the boop boop, not a cat man. Okay. All right, so I was a little off, okay. Just a little bit. Just a scotch off. Alright. Dude, I gave you like all the crunchies. Why are you in here yelling at me still? You definitely know. You don't want to come in here. I will pick you up. Alright, buddy. I'll give you some scratchings. Mm hmm Yeah, hi. Hello. Yep. Yeah, use one of the three beds that's in here for you, buddy. Go with the oranginess again. You might need to look be a little wider too, okay? But that's not, I don't think, as big a deal. The length was pretty off. In fact, it may still be off. But it might still be off. this one more time. The ever elongating shoe shoe. These shoes are getting a little bit bigger. Some growing pains. Okay. Go 
forward to this layer. I'm not going to switch to the super crisp brush just yet, but I am going to switch watercolor brushes um, to some that are a little bit more expressive. I don't like this guy to start with. brush for the blender again so that we can kind of also get some of that going. A little bit of fur detail hints. blender brushes. You can hop between those two. You got your food? You got your food? You got your food, little sir. Oh no. Oh, he's so neat. Where'd you go? What's even going on with this paw? Okay, okay. Like, why am I not seeing any beans on this paw? It all makes sense now.
he's just chilling right here. Alright, dude. Whatever you want, man. Or maybe he's just lonely. He's like, you're not watching TV like you normally are. He's getting where he likes to hang out on the couch with me for a little bit. <laughs> All right, in very me, very me fashion, I'm thinking uh, it's gonna have to move one more time. <laughs> it's gonna have to move one more time. It's just, it's just gonna have to, I think. So prepare for that. Very aggressive. Mm, it's not aggressive enough. Freaking Goldilocks of brushes over here. Dark edge, edge bleeder blender. All right. I thought I was out of that. I was gonna switch, but we're, it's not there. We're not there yet. It's not time. Mm. Sometimes I look at the drawing over there, just straight on. Let me also see. Can I get an idea of like if this is? Okay. I think it is. Alright, I'm gonna hop up here. There's new layers all over the place because I just don't trust myself <laughs> anymore. <laughs> like I said, my confidence is kind of shot right now. Right. Yeah, I can't 
get it that upside down shadow. And it's, I think it's working all right. Yeah, I bet your Wi-Fi did improve once fiber arrived. Copper wire setup was letting the rain in. Mm -mm. Next Mercury retrograde, September 9th to October 2nd. You know, I don't know. Am I afraid of it anymore? <laughs> I've just gotten used to it. other brush though first mm, I have one other brush that I want to pop in here and do some stuff with Also, I'm just like, do I need to move this? Back 
over to my blobby brush real quick just to get some generalized shadow dudes. Shadow shadies. Thinking I'm hearing stuff. Pop up here real quick. Grab that dry brush and just texture that out. Okay. Right. Also, until otherwise noted, let's just kind of lift Shoo Shoo up a bit. He was a little close to the bottom edge of the page and if he's going to be close to any edge I'd rather it be the top edge right now because I'm thinking he might have some drippy doos that go down um, and so it would be nice to have give some leeway for them. Okay. Let's hop back up here, go back to the oranginess. switch over, well, hold up. Not quite crispy brush time yet. Let's see if I can get any of this going. So I like the randomness of this brush. Okay. I'm 
gonna go ahead and switch to the crispy brush. here, just merge those two, I'm not merging those, okay. okay. Alright, let's go back into the face. scales. Whoops. Nope. Don't do that. Procreate. I've seen some cat math that's a little off, but... Hmm. I'm trying to think of how to rectify it... Oh, we'll see.
quite a weird part to grab. have one more drink drink in that area, same area still. put some tentative highlights on the eyeballs because I think it will help me out a little bit.
tentative highlights on the eyeballs. Although now I have another layer I'm going to remove. <laughs> Everything else. Okay. to the crispy brush. And our crispy layer. Sorry guys, I'm in the weeds. You guys know I get in the weeds, man. P. 
pizza surprise, I know. <laughs> You maybe use one of the beds if it were a canoe. Yeah. Until I actually buy it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna have for dinner. No idea. I think First Couture's did get a new kitty. great at keeping track of everybody but I do want to say I thought she had a new kitty Jovi! That's right. I am getting actually pretty hungry. I should order Taco Bueno. Burritos sound pretty good.
stretch. drink drink I'm going to do here just just five little pixels okay Search that layer for it. Um, not so much that layer either. Okay. So I think it'll be at least last three. Now I need to kind of. Live stream is Layer Town. I'm just putting so many layers. I've got so many layers, guys. Alright. Throw in a purple. It's a little less aggressive. Okay. I'm gonna soften the edges up a bit. They don't need to be so crispy. You know what I mean?
tiny though. She's smaller than Watson and he's only 10 pounds. Dang, Watson's slim boy. <laughs> Sneaking her food. Lindsay's got me calling everything a boy. Like she calls DOG butter boy. And um, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, I can't think of, like, if he's like being sassy, she'll call him a spicy boy. Um, but like, she'll do that with like inanimate objects too. Like, I think it's, you know, squishy boy or something like that. <laughs> Salty boy. Um, I was fixing to be like, dark blue boy. Doesn't quite roll off the tongue. Um, Lindsay's the one that uh, helped me film the tour of the cat parlor and stuff and edit some of it. And anyways, she's the one also that I'm talking to or reading stuff to. Drinking too many gin and tonics. <laughs> right. Okay, now we need that bright blue boy. Just up here at the top a little bit. This also will kind of soften the highlights. They're on top. Alright, let's blend it. And soften the edges here. Also, I don't think that I intended for that one highlight to look like that, so. That's fine. I, maybe. Okay, yeah. I, I don't think that I intended that. I'm not sure what happened there. An accidental mark, maybe. <clears throat>
Watson is the master of attention hogs. 18 pounds. Jeebus. That is a very, very fluffy, fluffy boy. As my friend Lindsay would say. Fluffy boy. I'd like to say it how she would say it. Fluffy boy. A lot of fluffiness. Stop it! Stop that! I think that was only cool on that area, maybe. Well, it's kind of cool there, though. take a small break. I'm still going to be here. I'm going to run a time lapse. Um, and I'm going to put in a food order because I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm getting hungry, guys. Terror needs a friend to help her burn 
off some energy, yes, and stop her trying to destroy my stuff or steal things off my desk. Yep. Already done. Hold on. I'm almost done. Okay. All right. I'm gonna work on this painting until my food gets here. What's up, Kenny? What's up, Kenny? Kenny, did you get your stickers yet? Cause one of my sticker orders went all the way out to England. <laughs> and they got their stickers already, which I was really surprised. I thought that was going to take at least another week. Um, so I still have... You got your stickers? Okay, so I still have uh, one um, ultimate pack of stickers that comes with... I was going to pick up this sticker. I have some of the DOG stickers on my desk, because of course I do. Um, gotta represent. Um, but it comes with the three DOG stickers um, that have him photoshopped into various black and white photos. And, um, and uh, yeah, all the other stickers, of course. And then I also have, if you don't want the whole pack of stickers, I have... Um, I think two of the self-care packs, sticker packs, and that comes with uh, the It's Okay to Be Messy, the Hot Mess Express bus one, and the uh, Fuck Everyone, I'm Gonna Grab My Own Ass sticker. Okay, so it comes with those three stickers. And then I have a rando sticker pack, which comes with Goth Koala, uh, Frick. There's Goth Koala, a random one that you that's a mystery to you. Um, geez, what's the other one it comes with? <laughs> Don't remember. Uh, shit. <laughs> I don't know, my brain. Hey, Trixie. Yep, stickers. They are on coffee. Technically, I have a few more of the, um, the... <laughs> My brain for real. The ultimate sticker packs, um, but I don't have them listed, uh, so um, just let me know. I have enough, I think, for two more, so... 
but yeah, since since everyone's received theirs, I don't need to worry about anything getting lost in the mail, because that's why I try to hold back some stock, right? So if someone doesn't get their sticker pack, it's okay, I can mail them new ones. Um, so yeah. Um, anyways. Hot Mess Express sticker was applicable. Always. I'm always, no matter where I'm going, I'm always riding that bus. <laughs> so. <laughs> For real. Hey, what's up? Thanks, Trixie. Thanks, Joe. Oh, I see you bought a sticker pack. That's right, you did. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, what else? Well, I don't remember what's in the, <laughs> the random one. I know Goth Koala's there. There's one other new one that's there. It's gonna drive me nuts if I don't, um, here. Actually, look, while I'm doing this, why don't I actually show you guys, and actually, I feel confident about this one. We can pull him out of here. I don't need to see my trash that I'm also still trying to work on. Um, let's play Eloise's time lapse real quick while I'm trying to solve my memory problems. Um, you know what? Why am I doing this? I can just get up and check the drawer. I'm so stupid. Hold on a second. It's dumb. I got it. Bag of dicks. Well, bag of ducks. You know, it's the autocorrect sticker. This guy. You know, quack quack, autocorrect, bag of ducks. Um, and then goth koala, of course. <laughs> Trying to like one hand influencer this, but obviously I'm not an influencer. Uh, I don't know if that was, if you guys were like, duh. Um, anyways, but it comes with those two plus a random sticker that I uh, still have from other sticker collections that I've ran. So, comes with those. Yep. <laughs> what pies did I have today? Brizzy. We had all the pies. Okay. Fall pies started today oh, wait or yesterday fall pie started the fall pie lineup is the best uh pie lineup that emporium has and uh my pie friend and i we like to at the start of fall pie table and at the very end of fall pie table um we liked to get one of each pies Oh my god, speech in. Anyways, but but uh yeah, so we got nanners, which I mostly eat because um uh, Keisha is not a big uh banana fan. She'll just have like one bite or something, but mostly that's mostly on my responsibility. Um so we got nanners, pumpkin of course, which is called uh drop dead gorgeous and gorgeous. Um they also like their puns there, pie puns. And, um, the nutty honey, which is peanut butter and honey. And then the buttermilk gang, which is just a classic buttermilk pie. Um, so we had one of each of those. I posted a photo of them on, uh, through my stories while we were there. Um, but yeah, great time was had. Many, many a pie was enjoyed. <laughs> uh, 
Your laptop is being retired? Is it gonna go live in Florida? <laughs> Alright, let's get back. Let's get back to Shushu. Are you gonna get a new Mac? What are you what are you doing, Joe? I'm moving to well, I was gonna say I'm moving to Portland when I retire. It'd be nice to do that beforehand. Although Jay's honestly looking at New Zealand because they opened up, immigration opened back up. And I said, if we move there, can I just paint cats as my new full-time profession? And he said, yes. And I said, okay, I don't care when we leave. <laughs> so long as I can take DOG with us, I don't care. I do not care. Let's get out of here. This country's going to shit it. Where is my brush? Also though, we've got a rando mark somewhere out here. An oh hi mark. So we can kind of see. All right. Mm. Oh. Let's bring in some of this here for some of these. Hair, hair guys. Are we gonna do that? I don't think I like that actually. I don't like that lime green on top of that orangey red. So let's boop 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 tapity tap tap out of that. All right, let's do what we were gonna originally do. Just kind of bring this super aggressive green out here. Okay, there we go. Okay, but what's happening? Okay, so it is this guy. All right, let's pull that out a little bit. Okay, just hitting a little too. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I know you guys understand all the random noises I'm throwing at you right now, right? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if Joe has seen her. Yeah, Joe, uh, yeah, you gotta go check. What's her name? Riley, right? Brizzy, her name's Riley. Your new keton. All right, all right, shoo shoo. I'm just gonna start talking to Shushu like he's actually here. Okay. Let's get like a super crazy seafoam green color. Just for a just for a little bit. Just for a spell. Darkness. We also here. Same way it's there. No. Yes. Okay. This eye, this eye, this one right here, I like that one a lot more than I'm liking the eye you're seeing. How do you replicate? How do, how do I do what I am doing? Hmm. Okay, well, we'll get there. We'll figure it out. the mouth. 
Let's spend some time up here a little bit, getting some of these details fleshed out. We've got a little bit of a little, little not a blep, but like, you know, like the little chin right before, you know, the fur kind of comes in. a whole lot of time there, but I think it's time to get back into the really crisp white fur and stuff, so let's... Nope, not that one though. That's a little too white. Okay, let's jump back to this layer. And let's get into the chin. Pump that opacity right, right the frick back up. Thanks, Kenny. I'm still getting used to having red hair again. I used to have, that used to be my color, was to have red hair. And then I was teal and blue and green for so long that I guess I feel like that kind of became my hair color. Um, and so I kind of miss it. <laughs> but you know, we're here now. So. Some of it's kind of faded off the end, so I'm gonna pull some purple through it. So I've got some plum and some violet um, in the shoebox from just past dying adventures. some attention. this sketchy layer out some more. It's like going back to old school. The way I used to do things, but I think maybe it helps me out a bit. You miss being a redhead? Why don't you just go back to it? Work reasons, probably, or... swaths on these kind of fur areas and then kind of go in there with the the dry brush texture it out so we can kind of move it along you know oh yeah I switched to dark edge bleeder whoops
little pencil nib keeps kind of, you know, working its way. Oh, actually, it's not that. It's <laughs> that I started. Yep, I jumped. I jumped layers. It isn't entirely the pencil nib. It's Father's Day there? Huh? That no that's... that's cool. Hmm. I quit coloring my hair because the color would only stay in for two weeks after I turned 49. I wonder if... Your hair changes texture, I guess? Hmm. I don't know, man. Something gotta happen. My grandma dyed her hair until she was, well, until she forgot who she was. She got Alzheimer's really bad. Um, but yeah, she dyed her hair like well into her 80s. I don't know. If it's just like a genetics thing or what? Now that I really think about it. I start to kind of shape, shape out Shushu's head a little bit here in the top. Good. It's just it's taking me longer than I guess I'm used to. had kind of come together like this. I really kind of struggled with that one a lot. Maybe these are just my lucky shoes. Love the watercolor, Luke. Thanks. My grandma dyed hers until she was 85, I think. You like his little paw with the toe beans? Yeah, he's got he's got one of his paws that's kind of, you know. So he's got some good chunky fur in there too that will kind of break all that up. Um, but for the live stream, I try to spend as much time as I can on the face because I think that that's the most interesting for you guys. And it's not just, it's not keeping me from progressing or anything. Um, like it's not like I need to you know, get over here or whatever. do it without making a big mess. So, let's kind of put it down like that. Yep. Okay. 
Hey, my food is on its way. Great, because I'm hungry. <laughs> Pretty sure my grandma still has hers colored at 97. I just gave up. The Blue Rinse Brigade, as they are called by retailers here. The blue hairs, the blue birds. Yeah, my grandma dyed her hair uh, like a auburn, like a deep uh, auburny um, color. I don't know that I ever saw my grandma's natural hair color until, um, you know, she had gone gray and she was, um, she had forgotten who I was. So. in the sand. Let me jump back on my original map. I mean, I've almost got more on the other layer than <laughs> I do on this one, but whatever. I'm just gonna go with it. Okay. Did you switch back? You did! You dick! I didn't tell you to do that. Okay, he's kind of got like those like wispies that come off the ear. Those are called the ear floofies. Yes, very technical word. Is that right? Is that right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kind of. Kind of? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. one that's like, he's got some serious ear floofies. Like one of them's like, boop. It's like old man nose hair. It's like, boop. He's reaching, man. starts to kind of get like the little curls as it was growing out from the little haircut.
<laughs> up to something. Potter. <laughs> That's my Alan Rickman impression. Okay, let's just kind of. Whoops, nope. Mm -mm. But soon my food will be here, so the first Kateers. Give a little hint of some paw, some paw work here. actually don't have to listen for food delivery I will probably get a message on my phone that they've triggered the ring cam so so that's nice also it's nice to not have to like worry about going downstairs you know because of a gated apartment that doesn't really do anything for my actual security it just keeps the delivery, food delivery service from getting in. That's really it. Hmm. Yeah, what? Some kind of really glowy situation on these toe beans. I guess it does kind of accomplish it a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna stop here and run a time lapse and just chat with you guys, if that's okay. Um, I'm gonna run a time lapse on this. Anyways, I just don't live stream that often, <clears throat> so I get to see what's going on with you guys. I just fed her, so I hope hopefully she calms down now. <laughs> yeah, she will probably calm down until you go to bed. <laughs> yeah, I really don't miss those. I guess that's another thing I don't miss about living in an apartment, but... I don't like the spider situation, I will say that. I'm not enjoying that. Uh, I'm ready for fall for many reasons. 
Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Let's do the time lapse again. Um, yeah, I don't like the spider situation. Jay is in, he's pretty indifferent about it. I don't like it at all. <laughs> um, I also wish that I had a nice, um, I miss the, the balcony that I had where I felt, I felt pretty comfortable going out there with Dioji. Um, and just letting him kind of chill out there. Now he he likes to chill in the um, chill, uh, not the right word. He likes to sweat it out in the uh, the garage. And um, yeah, the hotter the better <laughs> for him. And it's miserable to hang out there with him. But yeah, he'll just he'll find a spot and he'll plop down and he'll just nap it out. Um, so. Anyways, but I don't want to let I don't want him to be in there unsupervised, so um, he does not go in there unsupervised at all. But he can't go into the backyard, even <laughs> even a little bit. I wouldn't even want to go out there and stand out there with him and supervise him because there is a hawk in the neighborhood and there is also a um, a rather sizable owl. Um, that's in the neighborhood. Uh, I call him the captain. Um, but yeah, one day, we've seen quite a few critters come through the backyard. Usually it's, you know, squirrels and rabbits. Um, we get a lot of bunnies um, through here, which is pretty cute. Um, they have eaten the catnip that I've had growing out in the backyard for for a while now, they've eaten all the bottom of it off, um, which is fine. Dog, he was never really one for organic catnip. He's he likes it store bought. <laughs> um, anyways, but like we've had uh, some raccoons come through at nighttime. We've had um, a possum come through, usually at night. Sometimes early in the morning, uh, you might catch one crawling along the fence line um, but one day we had a little armadillo in the backyard and I have never seen an armadillo up close um, I've only ever like seen them from a distance and usually as roadkill I've never seen one alive anyway so one's in the backyard randomly rooting around um, so anyways it was really neat it was pretty cool but uh, all of a sudden, a hawk swooped down and tried to pick him up, but the armadillo was too heavy for him, but it didn't stop him from making a second attempt at, uh, at the armadillo. <laughs> um, so after that, he, he kind of gave up, but... Uh, Anyways, and that is one of the stories that I had heard from the neighbors about the, you know, the seller, um, and what the only times that they'd really interacted with her was that she had warned them about a hawk um, because she had um, some like miniature dachshunds, basically some smaller dogs, and the hawk tried to carry it away. So all that to say, Dog ain't going outside supervised. Even he ain't going out at all. So, yeah, we got a wild kingdom back here. What did you end up doing about the nest of spiders in your bathroom? Oh, uh, we, that actually wasn't in the bathroom. That was the the windows of that went out to the. Um, that looked out over the park basically um and yeah we just we just set the camera up there um slowly but surely they they all went away we thought it was going to be like charlotte's web you know <laughs> we're like they're just all gonna instantly say peace out but they didn't and we had um we had 
it, it so it was about a week e e after the the mama spider left because she hung around for a little while but then she was like okay <laughs> bye for real um and then slowly all of the babies started to leave um any spiders i've seen in here no we don't except for the murder spiders the spiders that are taking down other spiders we've got a we've got a treaty okay we've got an agreement but wolf spiders if i see wolf spiders they dead if i see a louse spider it dead if i see anything resembling a brown recluse it double dead so Yeah, it's a crazy variety of wildlife. Only in a zoo I've seen an armadillo. Yep. Oh, and we'll also get bobcats. But you usually only see the, the bobcats. Um, they'll trigger the, the ring camera. Um, and you'll see them uh, just, just kind of chill and, and cruise on by. Um, I see some people, I used to have like that neighbor app and I would see neighbors like freaking out, you know, about, um, you know, oh my god, bobcats in the area. But I think it's pretty cool seeing them come through, don't bother me. Um, so yeah, I just wish I didn't have all the, I just wish I didn't have so many spiders. <laughs> that's, that's all. We have exterminators come spray outside the house. Yeah. Yeah, we have uh, a company that comes by once a quarter and will do that for us. They need to, um, I don't know, man. Oh, hey, my food's here, but sometimes I can tell when it's about time for them to come back out. I'm like, all right. And they put out stuff that's supposed to be not toxic to all of the other critters. And when they first came out here, um, they tried to put a um, a squirrel trap in the backyard, and I was like, "No, no, don't do that. It's it's fine. Uh, the house has been like had been abandoned. Well, I say abandoned, but you know, it had been empty for like a year uh, by the time we moved in. So um, I think if squirrels were going to be in here, they would have already been in here. Uh, so." Anyway, so we haven't seen any signs of squirrels or heard signs of squirrels being in the house, in the attic, or anything like that. So as long as it stays that way, I don't think we're gonna have a problem. So, but when? Let's see. Let me see if I missed any other questions. Cause I'm fixing to get out of here. You want to have scrolls for watching, yes. Scroll TV is important. All right. <laughs> Joe's helping me usher off. <laughs> All right. Let's get out of here. I guess I have been streaming for four hours, so let's get out of here. Um, I love you guys. Uh, and um, oh. Wait a minute though. Hold on. I want to show you guys the the Chill Vibes couch stream. Hold on, hold on. Okay, so that's going to be the Chill Vibes setup. It's just the couch. You'll be able to see the iPad that I'm drawing. But in order to chat with you guys, I'll be chatting with you in the chat um, itself. I won't be talking to you like this because um, I don't have a mic or anything. And I don't know. I just kind of wanted it to be a little bit more um, lo-fi, whatever, lo-fidelity. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'll probably be doing that a little bit during the week because I have off of work all week. 
I might stream some of The Last of Us, the, the remake, since they re-released it with really nice graphics. Um, I'm very excited to at least play it again. So if you see me hop on Twitch, come by and make sure that I don't get anyone being mean to me and making fun of me in the way I play video games. <laughs> okay? All right. And now let's get out of here. <laughs> All right, but, um, but first, I would be remiss if I did not tell you guys to, um, to be safe, okay? And if you can't be safe, be sanitary. Goodbye.